All right, welcome to day 10, close grip chin up, decline parallel push up, and pause body weight squat. I wanted to talk about training frequency, specifically ultra high training frequency. What do I mean by that? Well, it's performing a particular movement multiple times per day, every day of the week, okay? So take a pull up, for instance. Now, a lot of people think you can't train a muscle back to back, right? You gotta have 48 hours or at least, at least a full day of rest between training the same muscle group, but that's nonsense. What if you could do 10 pull-ups, okay? You set up a door, doorway pull-up bar in your house, and when you wake up in the morning, first thing you do is you go do a set of five. Go have breakfast, do a set of five. Maybe you take a shower, do a set of five after that. So you have 15 to 20 minutes uh, between each set of pull-ups, right? And before you leave the house for work in the morning, you've done five or six sets of five pull-ups. Now say you have a doorway pull-up bar in your office at work, <laughs> okay, well, now you can get up and knock out a set every couple hours, right? You get home, you do the same thing. First thing you do when you get home, do a set of pull-ups, take your dog for a walk, do a set of pull-ups. Make dinner, do a set of pull-ups. Take a shower, do a set of pull-ups. Get ready for bed, do a set of pull-ups. Now over the course of the day, you've done 15 sets of pull-ups. Now, yeah, they're only half of your max, right? So say you can do 10 and you were only doing five, and that's really manageable. You can do sets of five all day, you just did, right? So these add up though, they make you really good at doing pull-ups. So if you do this for say a couple weeks, right? And then every once in a while you add a repetition. So, you know, 10 days later you're doing sets of six. Mm -hmm week or two later, you're doing sets of seven. Take a couple days off, retest your max. What do you think is gonna happen? Your max, I guarantee you, will be above 10. For sure. This, this is one of the most reliable ways to increase your repetitions. It works for push-ups too. It works for pistol squats. It works for pretty much any movement, okay? So the way you do grease the groove, or the way you grease the groove, is to take around half of your repetition maximum, so say, if you can do 12 reps, you do six. If you can do 14, you do seven. And do that as many times as you possibly can throughout the day while staying far away from failure and giving yourself plenty of time between sets. This is a surefire way to improve your strength and endurance in a particular movement, all right? Give it a shot. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of the workout and I'll see you tomorrow.